does she think she is anyway? She'll never do it without me. Why do people always have to disagree with me? I know what's best. You try to work with people, and it always ends up in a fight. Maybe the best way to do things is just to do it yourself. Don't you agree? <sighs> Never mind. I've got to go. Sometimes you're scared. Or whether you're human. We're gonna have good time. Oh, yes, and we're gonna do just fine. And you know why? Because you and I can't get along. That's right, right, right here, here, right now. We're learning how to get along. And now, boys and girls, it's Randall McGee and Grark. Well, hi, kids. It's great to have you with Grork and me today. We've got... I am not Grork. I-N-G-2000. Grork. I am the robot of the future. You are a robot? Alternative. I specialize in recycling and cleaning things up. Oh, good. <laughs> then you can start with Grork's room. That is not funny. I am programmed not to show any mercy to trash. Well, well, uh, I think we've had enough of this, Grork, so why don't we... Warning! G2000 is programmed to attack anyone who messes with the environment or with the robot itself. Look, I just want to take this... Warning! Step away from the robot! Alarm! Wait! Don't! Don't! Oh, man! Rourke, I think it's time for us to get on with the show. Show? Oh, good. Then I have a little song to sing. But that's not what we plan. Oh, listen, this will be great. <clears throat> I'm gonna build a robot with no one else but me. A scary-looking monster. Oh, just you wait and see. It'll run around the city and clean up all the mess. My litter picking robot is gonna be the best. It'll run around the country and clean up all the trash. Get money for recycling and give me all the cash. <laughs> cool, huh? Yes, but what about the robot that you were going to build with Essie? Well, Essie got all huffy because my junk was better than her junk, and, and she called me a Terminator. Wait, 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 wait. What? Slow down and start over again. Well, Essie got all huffy. <laughs> because you know what I mean. Huh. Well, you see, we were working on our road thought. Hemostatter. Hemostatter. Humidifier. Humidifier. Thingamajig. Thingamajig. Doohickey. Doohickey. What should I call it? What should I call it? Oh, that'll do it. Ha <laughs> ha. This old gumball machine makes a perfect stomach. I wonder if our robot can chew gum and walk at the same time. Oh, sure he can. It's a very smart robot. Yeah, I've got some other junk, too. Oh, me too. I've got some controls. Right over here. Oh, wow. Boy, blah, blah, wonder what blah, blah. else we've got here. Yeah, I cannot believe that our neighbors threw away all this good stuff. Yeah, people sure waste a lot. Oh, what a great class project. Robots out of recycle material. <laughs> if our team makes the best robot, it'll be in the science fair. Everybody in town will see it. <laughs> yes, and I know, I know we're going to make the very best robot. Why, when it's finished. You mean, when it's alive. Yes. It's alive! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we could send it downtown and have it hand out tickets for littering. 
Or we could have it go downtown and eat litter bugs. Or, or, or we could program it to recycle more things. And then add them to its own body. Yes! Oh, with all the stuff that people throw away, it could be huge. Soon, it'd be taller than the tallest building. Yes, growing all the time, handing out tickets for littering. A giant trash-eating robot stalking the cities. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Well, well, we better keep building. Oh, what do you want for the feet? Uh, that, uh, that what looks about good. These? Yeah. Oh, what have you got, Gore? Let's see. I've got an arm. Oh, arms are good. Yeah. Here, here's a. It's it's an egg beater. Oh. That way, our robot can make omelets out of litter bugs. <laughs> Always thinking about eating, eh, Groot? <laughs> you can't clean up the world on an empty stomach. <laughs> True. <laughs> now, for the most important part, the robot's head. <gasps> Wait till you see what I've got. Ta-da! It's got a walkie-talkie built right into it. What for? Well, so our robot can explain to people why it's important to recycle things instead of throwing them away. Explain? Uh -huh. That's no fun. Our robot needs to be tough. Wait till you see this. Ah! <laughs> That's better. <laughs> A hockey mask? Yeah. No, 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 Grok. You've got it all wrong. The robot has to be smart and friendly. How else are we going to convince people not to waste stuff? We convince them with an attack robot. <gasps> That's how. No, no, no. Quark, you are scaring me. Stop it. That's the idea. I also have some water balloons. <laughs> and no robot of mine is going to act like a, a robocop. Well, it's certainly not going to act like Professor Gadget Brains. Ooh, all you care about is making the robot into a bully. Well, it's better than making it into a nerd. <laughs> Robot, your first assignment is to give Gork a ticket for stupid ideas. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, robot, recycle Essie. <clears throat> I command you to arrest Gork. Robot, Ooh. eat Essie. Oh, shred Gork. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just watch this. What? <laughs> Look what you did. Why, you are the worst robot builder. You can forget about being my partner. Huh? Oh, yeah, then I'll, yeah. I'll just take... These back well, there. Well, fine. And you you don't need this, I see. Ooh. I never liked that anyway. Take well, the rest fine. of your lousy stuff. Well, okay, get your garbage out of here. Hey. Mine isn't garbage, oh. it's junk. Yeah, well, here's some of your junk. And Ooh. here's some of your garbage. All right, all right. Who needs you and your trash anyway? I'm going to build my own robot. You'll oh. never be able to build anything without my junk. Oh, yeah? You just ruined our project, Terminator. Ooh, ooh. You're the Terminator! Oh. How could you be so rude? You made us come unclued. Don't give me attitude. Short circuit! Short circuit! You turned a great project into a total wreck. Don't give me disrespect. Short circuit! Short circuit! Look like we had it made. Look like we made the grade. Thanks to his escapade, look, look garbage, garbage on parade! Ah. Oh. Wish it were still the old days. Wish it were still last week. I'll scream. Give me a break. Ah! We almost had success. Instead, we have a mess. We're talking deep in stress. Short circuit, short circuit, short circuit, short circuit. Danger, implosion imminent. Alarm, disconnect, disconnect. Prepare to self-destruct. Run for the hills. 
So what are you going to do? I guess I'll just build the road out by myself. But I think one of the rules of the contest is that you have to do it as a team. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not helping you build the robot. Oh, man! So what am I gonna do? Maybe you could just work things out with Essie. How am I gonna do that? We can't agree on anything! Well, maybe... maybe these kids could give you an idea. What? Uh, do any of you have some idea of how this conflict with Essie got started? I think something that they did wrong was they each thought that the other person's idea was really stupid. And they would say, well, your idea is stupid. Mine's better than yours. What, I shouldn't have said it was a stupid idea? Yeah. Huh? And they started fighting, and it just ended up getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But it was all her fault, wasn't it? No. 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 I think it was kind of your fault, too. Man. <laughs> Rourke shouldn't have knocked over the robot. Well, why not? She needed me mad. But if you were mad at her, you could have worked it out instead of knocking over the robot. Well, I got mad. So did, do you think he let his emotions get a little out of control? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, maybe a little. Maybe a little a lot. Hmm, Jean. Uh, they're two good friends, and at the time, it wasn't them talking, it was her anger. Anger? My anger can't talk. <laughs> no, Crook. That's just a figure of speech. Huh. Can you explain it to him, Odio? When, when you get angry, you just say stuff that you really don't mean. You have no control of anything. You just keep on saying it and saying it and saying it. Uh -huh. And then after you get angry, then you say, well, I think I shouldn't have said that. That's right. You do lose control and then say things you don't mean. Didn't you call Essie some names? Well, she needs me mad. Shouldn't I call her a name? No, no. no. Rory, what do you think? I think the worst thing you could do in an argument is call somebody a name because you can really hurt somebody's feelings. And when that happens, they may never agree with you even though they like what you have. How do you feel when someone calls you a name? I feel really bad. Are you more inclined to listen to that person or his ideas? No, I, I just want to ignore him. You're right. It does make you feel like that, doesn't it? Yeah. So should Grork and Essie forget the project, or should they resolve their differences? Resolve. 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 What? We shouldn't forget it? Well, what happens if they don't resolve their conflict? Uh, Rick. Well, you know, for the project, didn't you say they needed a team to do it? Yeah. Well, if you don't... If you don't make up with Nessie, they'll disqualify you because you won't be working with a team. Oh, man. You won't be yeah. able to get a prize, and they might lose their friendship and not be friends anymore. Darn. I think that's a good observation on both parts. You certainly won't win the prize, and you'll very likely lose a friend if you don't figure this thing out. Oh, man. When two people disagree, does that mean there's no way for them to both get what they want? No. no. Yeah? No. 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 No? no. 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 Well, why not? I mean, she wanted her head and her one and I had it. No, I'm, she wouldn't listen. Oh, man. Did you fight when you put the um, body together? Well, no. But did no. you have different ideas? Well, uh, no. Uh, I kind of had the idea for the body at first. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, so, but then she had another idea for the body, and then you still put it together. Can't, couldn't you put the heads the same way together? Well, I, I, I guess that now we had it. We, we were agreeing on that, and now we had a disagreement. And it's impossible to solve that, isn't it? No. 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 It's not? No. No. No, no it isn't, Grork. Of course not. Have any of you ever resolved a disagreement with one of your friends? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Shannon. Me and my friend, we were we had to make a card because one of our friends was sick. So um, she wanted to do a um, little frog's mouth opening, and I Aww. wanted to do little fish's mouth opening. And then we um, decided that it wasn't going to work out because we were arguing about it. So then um, we actually decided on a dragon. Of course. <laughs> and then we decided, and she really, really liked the card. Oh, I bet she would. Well, how could she help it if there was a dragon on there? <laughs> Sounds smart to me. 
<laughs> Great. Any other examples? Rory? Me and a friend have tried to write a story together, and sometimes you don't agree on parts, and then you take all night, and it doesn't turn out to be a great story and ends up really short. So what would you do differently now? Oh, well, I would use his idea, too, and maybe we can put both ideas together, and they would make a really nice story. Well, you mean kind of add them together or something? Yeah. Works kind of well. mix them? Uh-huh. In a blender? <laughs> Not together quite no doesn't blood. need a blender. Aaron, did you have something to say? Yeah, they need to be more respectful of each of their ideas so they could get something done. How do you do that? Can you explain a little, Aaron? You can let each other talk like, say, well, here's your idea, here's my idea. Make a compromise. What? Compromise. Um, it means um, that two people, um, put their ideas together so it will it will work for both of them. How could they have reached a compromise? The friendship should be 50-50, not just Gork's idea and not just Essie's idea. You should both have a 50-50 agreement. Both take their ideas into consideration. Like, you see how Gork had um, his face mask and the uh, other girl had hers. They could have set those aside and um, picked one that they both agreed on so that I, it will make the robot kind of tough and smart and to remind people, you know, like to recycle and stuff. That's a great idea! But what about Essie? She's really mad at me. Let's pretend that you're Grork for right now. Oh, they don't look green enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you could talk to Essie, what would you like to say to her? N Natalie, what do you think? I would say that I was sorry and I wanted to still try to make the robot and we could try to compromise on how to make it so we wouldn't get into another fight. So Gork, do you have some idea from talking to these kids? I think so. Do you know why you had a problem? Oh yeah. We weren't listening and we started calling names and we didn't take turns or anything like that. And so what would you do now? Well, I guess I gotta say I'm sorry. That'd be a good place to start, don't you think, guys? Yeah. And then, then I'll ask her for her ideas and I'll listen to those, and then I'll tell her my ideas and ask her to listen to those, and then maybe we could figure something out together. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. So maybe after the show, you could go talk to Essie and try to... <laughs> I said after the show. This is too important. I've got to do it now. I'll be back before you can spell hazardous materials. Bye. But, Grog. Well, hazardous materials. H A Z. right. I guess I just don't have enough stuff. Well, I've got some stuff. What? More water balloons? Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> no. Uh, Essie, how can we ruin our friendship because of a stupid disagreement? Because stupid disagreements are what ruin friendships. If it was a stupid agreement, we'd still be friends. Huh? Uh, well, anyway, Essie, disagreements between friends are natural. Hmm? Well, it's too late now. The robot was wrecked. Well, we could try to start over. We still have all our junk. Yeah, but but you want to use your robot head, and I want to use I want to use mine. We ought to just forget the whole thing. Hmm. Then maybe. We can combine our ideas huh? to make something even better. Like? Um, well, like smart and courageous. Smart and courageous? 
Yeah, like Superman. Oh. Hey, hey, I know. Couldn't we put my walkie-talkie gizmo behind behind your hockey mask? Mm. Hey, that's a great idea, Essie. Yeah, have you got... Ooh, mm. actually, it does look good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just turn it on and... Oh, wow! Awesome! <laughs> right and you were wrong i thought i was right so we didn't get along but we found together we really belong now we're working it working it out come on now working it out to keep our act together working it out through the stormy weather We'll be friends forever. Working it out. Working it out. <laughs> Fixing this mess won't take an engineer. No way! Talking it out. There's nothing to fear. Uh -uh. We'll put our heads together. Then everything is clear. Forever, working it out. Work